Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. These words of our Lord are unmistakable. The bread and the wine that we bring forth at every Mass truly becomes the flesh, the body and blood of Christ. When the priest raises the bread and says the words of consecration, this is my body, and likewise the chalice, this is my blood, these things that look and taste like bread and wine are no longer mere natural things, but have truly become supernatural. The body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are not symbolic, they are not allegoric, they are really, truly, substantially the body and blood of Christ. There is no other way to look at it. And this is not some random doctrine that the, was made up by the church over the last 2,000 years. These are the words of Christ. God himself taught this to us, and so we take him at his word. But I imagine if you're here at Mass in the middle of the week, already, you probably already believe this to be true, especially at 8.15 in the morning, before the day's even begun, you already come to see Christ. Why else would we show up if not because we believe that this is truly God made flesh? This is a good and holy thing to do, though, to come early in the morning to visit our Lord, and it really does make all the difference in the world. My brothers and sisters, I can't remember where I heard it, but I think I've shared this a couple of times. And it's that we do more good for the world by attending this one holy mass than all the world governments combined. Just one mass does more good than any government in the world. And thanks be to God that you have come here today to visit with and receive our Lord in the blessed sacrament. Thanks be to God for the good work he does to each of you. Because when you come first thing in the morning to receive our Lord in the Eucharist, he stays with you the rest of the day. He goes with you to visit the sick, to visit the, the poor, the outcasts. He goes with you to visit that friend who's been lonely for the last couple of weeks, who's lost a spouse. He goes with you to the hospitals. He goes with you to visit the schools. He goes with you to go grocery shopping. And then you're bringing Christ to the rest of the world. So there's goodness that comes from that. And so thank you for that. God bless you.